Did you ever get beat up for something you simply did? Yes, bro. Me and my brother look alike. Like, if you used to turn us around, face us two different ways. Like, now, now, mm. no. Like, obviously, since we're grown up, things have changed. We have dis different facial hairs. You know what I'm saying? That has changed. But when we were younger, we looked... Pfft. My mom dressed us the same. We wore the same fucking clothes. You know what I mean? It was annoying. I got in trouble in school by the fucking dean. The dean said, hey. Uh, I'm gonna uh, come. Okay. <laughs> the dean pulled me aside at lunch class and says, excuse me, sir. Come here. I saw what you did in the courtyard this morning. Come here. No, no, no. Don't think you're smart. Come here. Bro, and I'm like, what are you talking about? What are you saying? I don't even know who you are. He's like, no, no, no. Don't play with me. And he grabs me my arm and makes me eat in his office. This motherfucker grabbed me. Told me to grab my backpack and lunch and eat in his fucking office while he's writing me up. Are you fucking kidding me? And I'm like, what did I do? What did I do? Oh, I saw you riding a skateboard in the courtyard earlier this morning. Hello? I would get written up for my brother's mistakes. It was my fucking brother riding the skateboard. I didn't even have a skateboard. I had a bike. What's up, boy? It's me, Horsey. You might know me from Trick 2G Shitty Stream, but it's my hometown, boy. Subscribe to my channel. Like it right now, motherfucker. <laughs> One of the biggest mistakes I wish I could take back, not even take back, but I re dude, oh my god, to this day, man, this shit hurts my soul. Long time ago, boys, in seventh grade, for my birthday, my dad got me a brand new mongoose bike. But it wasn't like he bought it. Someone bought it for his other son. His other son was too small, so he couldn't ride it, so he gave it to me for my birthday. So it was like a, a hand-me-down, but it was a brand new bike, right? I didn't- I was so hyped up. This bike was so fucking badass. It was orange and black. It was so fuck. it had pegs on it. It was smoking cool, right? I didn't have a- I didn't have a lock. Now, when I told you guys, I grew up in the- I grew up in the hood, right? Now, my hood is obviously different from Chirac nowadays. That is definitely not hood. That is goddamn kill zone. That's Call of Duty. That's the gulag. My hood was different. People were still doing drugs, robbing, shooting was happening, but no one was dying every time and like, you know what I'm saying, some crazy shit. Uh, my school was very bad, bro. Like, we had a cop constantly working there. We had metal detectors, surveillance cameras everywhere, dude. Crazy shit has happened at my school. Like, the school that I went to was on the news like three or four times. Like, that's crazy. And it wasn't anything to do with the shootings and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? Like, nowadays. Thank God, bro. I would, Dude, school is crazy to be a part of nowadays. I had this nice mongoose. And I was in my last period, and I was so ready, and it was my first day bringing this bike to school. My first day riding this motherfucker to school. Well, this is gonna be a fun lane. So, I brought the bike to school. It was my last period, and I acted out in class. I fucked up. I was becoming a class clown that last period, and the teacher made me stay after school for extra 15 minutes. She said my last name, called me out, and says, uh-uh, you ain't going nowhere. And I'm like, why? What? She's like, oh, so you want to disrupt my class? You got to stay an extra 15 minutes. So when that bell rings, you can't leave. You're stuck with me now. That's exactly what she said to me. And I'm telling you, bro, I wanted to walk out her fucking class so bad, but I was scared of my dad. My dad would whoop my ass if I didn't get, if I didn't come, bro. Like, if I didn't listen, bro, she called my goddamn dad out. Fuck. And my mom didn't have a phone. My dad had the phone. So it was like, bro, 100%, he doesn't miss a call. That, his phone is his money. So if someone was calling, he's picking up. I told her, can I go get my bike? Can I just go get my bike and then I'll come back? I literally told her this shit. She said, no, your bike is fine. 15 minutes after that, this was the longest 15 minutes of my life. I go to, my, I go to the bike rack, boys. My bike is not there. You don't understand that feeling. Like, if you've ever had anything st stolen from you, you'll understand how much pain oh my god lucian's pissed how much pain you have in your chest how scared you are because you know your dad is gonna fucking kill you because it's the first day you brought your bike back so i go to the bike rack and it's gone i go to the front desk i said excuse me excuse me someone stole my bike someone stole my bike oh we can't do anything the officer left the school and he's the only one in control of the cameras. Come back in the morning. So I have to go home and tell nobody because I'm going to hide it. My dumb ass thought it'd be the best thing is to hide that I don't know where the bike is. Because I'm so scared to tell that my dad that my bike got stolen. And thankfully, thankfully, no one's home. Like my my sister and brother, are not, older brother are not home. They're still in high school. My other brother is in elementary school.
So this whole day, I'm sitting there thinking, I'm like, <laughs> What am I gonna say? <laughs> what am I gonna tell anybody? <laughs> what am I gonna tell? So I realized, I needed to tell them. I needed, I tell my dad that they stole my bike because it was the right thing to do, right? So I waited for my dad to get home and he had a terrible day. He had a bad day. Like he was filled with grease. My dad's a mechanic. He was filled with grease. He smelled like a goddamn fucking oil bin. I said, hey, hey, what the fuck is going on? And I said, they stole the bike. And the first thing he said, what the fuck you mean they stole the bike? I said they stole the bike. You have to come with me in the morning to to get the uh the, to see the footage. And they need the papers. Now, if you own a bike, the cops always tell you we're gonna need a serial number. They're gonna say we're gonna need some sort of VIN number to show that you're the that's your bike, right? Bro, my dad didn't have any of that shit. Like my dad got the bike. That's all he had. You know what I'm saying? Like he had none of that shit. Oh, like. Throw it flashbang. off me bitch so my dad was so fucking mad at me man he wanted to beat the living shit out of me i think i found the counter i th i found the counter <laughs> I know how to beat Nami Lucian now, baby! So my dad was really pissed at me, man. And I went to the school in the morning. My dad was there. And the cop didn't go to school that day. So no one could have checked the cameras for me. So that was out of the question. So that was a scrap. Had to scrap that idea. Then I went to the third day. The cop told me when I saw... I remember that motherfucker's name. Deputy Shambob. I will never forget that motherfucker, right? That guy... I went to the school in the third day he was there, right? He actually showed up. And I asked him... During lunch class, right? Because I thought that would have been the best time. And he told me, no, I can't, I can't, I can't right now. We got to do it in the morning. So the next day, I go in the morning. I go there on a Friday morning. He's there. I'm like, oh, shit, finally. I can find out who stole my bike because there's a camera legit watching the bike rack. I said, hey, can, uh, can we check the cameras now? He says we don't have the recordings of that day. Bro, what am I supposed to do? So I have to explain to my dad that the bike is stolen. That they don't know who stole it. So, I lost the bike. And this bike was beautiful, man. It was literally one of my favorites. And I never got beat up for it, thank the lord. But my dad was very pissed off. If I had to blame anybody, I'd blame the teacher. For keeping me after class because I made a stupid ass joke. Which I don't even know what I did. You know, I, I really don't even remember, man. Like, I wonder if it was even that bad. But yeah, man. That's honestly one of the, like, the most depressing stories that I'll never forget in my entire life, man. It was so sad going home and then knowing that I don't have my bike. And I and it's not like I gave up, chat. Like I was I was in the hood, so I knew where the fuck everything was. I wouldn't just give up because like someone stole it. I was the type of person that if I found my bike, I'm knocking on your fucking door or I'm stealing it back. Like that's who I was. I didn't care. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I went around all the ghetto spots, bro. All the spots where I knew people would have been stealing my shit. Right? So I checked all through my goddamn neighborhood, nothing. Check through backyards, all of it. Like, I'm not going in people's garages looking for it. Let me see what other place was called. I forgot the other one. I went to this place called Catalina Park. That was a bad spot. Wasn't in there. Like, I went places, bro. Dude, my Seraphine's crazy. Gotcha, bitch. <laughs> no, it's not really smart to do that against me, buddy. Yes! 
I didn't die a single time that whole time, and I'm telling a story! I'm too good! This horse never fucking loses a game when he's focused. Are we promoted? Tell me we're in Diamond 2 already, man. Please, tell me! Come on, load up, load up, load up. Come on, come on. Come on, you can do it! Gotta, I gotta, I should honor the Sona. Leveled up, okay, we're up, we're up. Level up. We level leveled up in life. Let's go! Let's 